So I got my first 50 hours in Harvey, the 1959 Cessna 310, and since I bought the aircraft right out of annual inspection, it's time to do a oil change, a two-engine oil change. So instead of doing it here in the hangar, I'm going to take it down to the shop where I can enjoy a, a complete shop, a full set of tools, the folks that have been maintaining this aircraft all these years. I'm going to learn a thing or two changing the oil on Harvey, even though I'm an AMP mechanic. And besides, I don't want to mess up the hangar floor. This airplane is so dry, it doesn't leak any oil. I don't even need drip pans underneath these engines, and I want to keep it that way. Every time I change oil, I make a hell of a mess. So let's go down and do it. Let me show you the Cessna 310 quick start procedure for Harvey, the 1959C model 310. First, make sure the gear is down, the flaps are up, and the fuel valves are where you want them before you fi start firing things up. Get the battery and generator switches on. Get all four magneto switches on. There is no key on the uh, Cessna 310. Now we'll take and move all our control levers full forward. Throttle, props, and mixture. Now we're going to hit the auxiliary boost pump to low, verify its operation, and then prime the engine with the boost pump in high. So it's going to go something like this and look something like this. On the fuel pressure gauge, low and high. About that much prime. Do the same thing with the right engine, low and then high. Now, uh, there's going to be a correct mixture on the throttles here that the engine will start at. So I'm going to start back here close to idle and then I'll ease the throttle up until the engine starts. Cold start procedures. I need a camera person. Let me see if I can hold this camera still. Clear. Now bring that mixture right back to about three. Starts right up.
This is Jordan. She's been working on Harvey for the last three years. She's much more careful, patient, and thorough than most any of the other mechanics I work with, including myself. When we go to change the oil on Harvey, we don't need to take the top cowling off. We can just pop these side cowlings and the one little hatch on the bottom, inspection plate on the bottom, that gains us access to the oil drain. We're also going to service the oxygen today as well. That's the green cart behind Jordan there. So the oil gets drained right there. There's not a quick drain on these because it's a little bit of a tight fit, I'll show you. But when you're working outside in the wind, you want to catch that oil and not spray it all over. We're going to change the filter right here and we'll be adding the oil right up here now's a good time to take a look all around the engine and here's the oil drain plug on the bottom of the engine of course this will be safety wired up after we double check the torque on that and you replace that washer while you're at it. So the safety wire is secured on a tab on the back of the oil drain neck right back here. It's on the back side of that. So start by safety wiring it back there first and then grab the plug. Righty tighty, right rule of thumb, just like that. Right. Job done. Looks good, pulling the nut tight. Now Jordan's got this great technique of diapering up the filter with a bag. And did you tape that a little bit? Yep, with duct tape. Duct tape to the engine? Yep. No fuss, no muss. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> we were having a little fun teasing Jordan about the big oil smudge on her cheek. Oh, you are. You do remember your favorite employee? <laughs> Our only employee. <laughs> Get your safety wire started before you put the filter on, it makes it easier. Jordan, how much do you like to tighten these uh, oil filters to? About 16 foot pounds. All right. And what a lot of us do is, if we can't get a torque wrench on it, we'll just rotate them. Once they start snugging up, it goes up just under one turn, like seven eighths of a turn. Nice and snug. Righty, tighty, looks good. So we're going back with Aeroshell 1550 Multivis, which does not have the cam guard in it, uh, unlike the Aeroshell 100 W Plus. So we're ratioing in, what, what was that ratio on the 1. cam? 1.6 ounces of cam guard per quart of oil. 1.6 ounces of this per quart of oil. Yep. Perfect. Times 11 quarts for a 12 quart engine, we'll leave, one, leave it one quart down so we don't just blow it out. And don't forget your cam guard, says Jordan. You paid extra for it, might as well use it. So with the oil filter being replaced, 11 quarts of oil plus almost a quart of uh, cam guard ought to work out just about right for the 12 quart engine. Time to button it up, start the engines, and check for leaks. Okay, we'll show you the Harvey quick start procedure here with uh, Jordan on the camera. It might be a little bit better. Correction. We're going to do the cold start procedure. So first, make sure, push everything forward there. Gear handles down, flaps are up. Turn the battery and generators on. The mag's on. Now we're going to hit the low boost pump and check for operation. And then we'll prime it with high boost. So look over here. There's low. Now look over here, Jordan, and there's that low boost and there's high boost and about that much prime shut it off here's the number two engine <clears throat> low boost 
check for operation, and then prime with high boost. Now, over here, we're going to bring the throttles back and we'll just crack them a bit. Clear! We're going to increase the throttle until it starts. And finally, one last oil leak check after running up the engines. We'll pop this and check the filters. And the drain plug. Nice and dry.